welcome back to the channel. If you've been here before, welcome if you're new as well. Now, this video, because there's no cash in front of us, is my June bill swap. Yes, I'm so excited. I love these videos. I don't have as much money to swap out as I might normally, um, or at least pull out of my envelopes because I don't have a car payment anymore, as you might have known if you watched my previous videos. If you haven't, why are you watching this one first? Go check those out. Um, this is very short-lived, just in the process of me waiting for my new vehicle to come. I don't have a car payment, so that's a few hundred dollars more a month that I will have for probably the next two to three average months. So with that said, let's just get into it. We always start by pulling money out of my bills. Like I said, those are few and far between. At the end of the month, I've already paid my cell phone and my internet bill. Um, we will come back and consolidate these envelopes if I can when we're finished pulling our bills, but most likely we'll just wait until later down the road in the video and come back to this binder entirely. So cell phone, not doing anything with insurance, we are gonna pull. I don't have much on my iPad tracker as of yet. This is all that's on it. So for insurance, we're pulling 260. We have 100, 200, 220, 240, 250, 260. Um, some of this I might not need because again, I don't have a car. So my insurance might go down a little bit where I don't have to worry about that. Um, so we'll see what is left over and then I will put any extra in the bill buffer when I know more. Power bill is coming out. This is $220. So 100, 200, 10, 20. And then finally, the only other bill that we have to pull is subscriptions, which it feels crazy to me to pull less than $500 at the end of the month for bills because we used to pull like 430 bucks for my car alone. So this is crazy. We've cut my bill in half pretty much. So $15 is coming out of subscriptions right now. Um, I don't know if we really can do, we probably can consolidate. So let's just see. We might not be able to, but we will try our best and come back if we have to. So Bill's Buffer has five, 10, 15, 20. So we can do something with that. So we'll take one of these lovely 20s. And this is just if one of my bills is more than I am expecting. I have a little wiggle room here. Nothing for car payment. Cell phone is fully consolidated. There's $85 in here. Insurance, power bill, and subscriptions are all empty as you just saw. TV internet is fully consolidated at 85. So then utilities is the next thing. And in here we have 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75. So shoot, I don't have a 50, which I would want. I definitely want a 50 in here. So we will definitely have to come back to utilities. Can we do anything with one month ahead? There's $25 in there, so no, we cannot. So try and remind me, spend all of your telepathic power energy right now just to remind me to come back to utilities. Please and thank you. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to short term and we are gonna pull $110 from impulses because I owe that to my credit card from a video game. So impulses is back here. Yep. And so we owe 110 and we only have 125, but that's cool because we've got a 10 there. So I'll take a 20 and put back a 10, which leaves $15 in impulses at the end of that. And honestly, guys, I can't really do a whole lot of consolidating just yet because I do really need those 50s. 
So what I know we can do is we can consolidate our savings challenges first because we'll need some placeholders for those. And then we will have some dough to work with. Let's get going. I do have a little section right here for any placeholders that we can put in. So we keep track of everything going back to the bank. And this binder is a little bit bulky for consolidation, but just bear with me. So the first one we're gonna consolidate is Save 2023 and 2023 by Madeline Budgets. I just, guys, if you're not following Madeline, what are you doing with your life? She is super cool. She's so funny. She posts so many saving challenge videos. She's from Romania and she is just the sweetest. So go check her out. Anyways, I'm sure you guys already know Madeline because have you been living under a rock? She's got a YouTube and she's got an Etsy. Those are both going to be linked below. So for 2023 and 2023, we have $3 in cash in coins we're going to leave, but we have 500 in the bank and in cash we have one, two, 250, three, 354, 450, $500. So 500 and 500 makes a thousand, right? Simple math. So we're gonna see if I have another 1K slip from At Home in the Sun. I don't know that I do. Oh, yes I do, yay. So we're gonna put the 500 down from Intentional Living. And no, I'm not scrapping these. I absolutely love them and we will still use them. Um, but so we've got 1,000 in Madeline budgets, the Save 2023 and 2023 challenge. And there's 15 plus three is 18. So $1,018 in Save 2023 and 2023. And this is as consolidated as it gets. And now we have a wad of 50s to use. The next challenge, there's nothing in the $1,000 savings challenge there. I think, do we have anything in this $1,300 challenge from Brooklyn Studios we can consolidate? No, we cannot. So we have 100. 120, 140, 145 in that challenge. No, we have 200. I knew there was another $100 bill there. So that one is fully consolidated. We haven't used this challenge this month or played it, I should say. In the $5,000 savings challenge, what do we have? We might not have much we can do here either. So you have 1,000 in the bank for $5,000 savings challenge. And then 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Ooh, we do. Oh wait, let's maybe do this the right way. So we'll set that aside for now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120. So we'll keep a 20. And then 150, 170 is technically what we have. So 1170 in the $5,000 savings challenge. And yes, I am behind in this, but once I catch up and finish Madeline's savings challenge, we will put the pedal to the metal in this one. And I'm not necessarily set on finishing it at the end of 2023 if it takes us a bit longer than it does, but my real hope is that we do finish this because I would like to put this towards my TFSA. But, before I forget, I should write down that I am taking 500 from 2023. Match three from Lunova B. We have $60 in here. So we'll put that down and we will try and take a nice 10. Nothing really nice right now, but I know there are some nicer 10s to come. So I might switch this back out but there is $60 here. The Mario challenge only has 10. 
The mystery scratch off has 25 and it is fully consolidated over here. Queen of hearts has 20, nothing I can do. Random stack of savings only has 20. Survive the night we finished and we're restarting. So there's nothing in this one. And in Thor, I believe there's only 30 as well. So nothing we can do with anything left in this binder. But let's go back into our other savings challenge binder and see if we can do anything here first. Challenge number one, we do have $65 in our 100 envelope challenge. And we should be able to do some consolidating. So this is what I was talking about with the nice tens. So I definitely am going to go back. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So those are gonna go right in the front and 65. I don't know if I have a better five or not, let's see. I mean, this one is better. Okay, so 50, 65 in 100 envelope savings challenge. And we just restarted this one because I used this money to save up for a down payment on my new vehicle. And that was more important to me at the moment. Challenge number two is the 100 envelope savings challenge. In here, we have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70. So we're gonna keep the 20. These tens can all go in the front and we're gonna take a 50. So 70 in here. For $150, we only have 20, so nothing we can do with that. This is from Cashby. The $100 savings challenge, I believe, was from Jemmy Budgets. And then this tracker was from Arnold and Tilly on Etsy. The $1,000 savings challenge here is from Arnold and Tilly, and we have $35 in that, so nothing I can do with this one either. Bingo should have 10, it does have 10, it's fully consolidated. Nothing in the mini challenge. What do we have in the rainbow? Can I do anything? I think I can. This one is also from Cash B. The $150 one was a freebie that I got from buying from her shop, but then I went and bought the rainbow challenge because I thought it was super cute. So we have 20, 30, 40. Roll the dice, did we do, did we play roll the dice this month? I don't think we did, but. So it looks like we have one, two, $205 in here. So this one is fully consolidated and that is it for this binder. This video might be a bit shorter than my usual bill swaps, but. And because I heard you saying, Carrie, go back to utilities. I will do that right now. I thought about putting placeholders in here, but I think I'm gonna wait a little bit because I'm so close to 400 and 400 is so close to like my end goal of 550 that I might just wait a little bit longer, but we have one, two, three, 320, 340, 360, 65, 70, 75. Okay, 375. So, and we will take this bent one because it's just going in a bill envelope and I really don't care. So one, two, three, 350, 370, 375 in utilities. Normally, I might do short term first, but let's get into my long term because I know I have money to come out of property tax to go to the bank. 
We'll start with car maintenance though and see what I can switch out, if anything. So this is all coming out of my service section. These envelopes are from Intentional Living. So in service, we have 5,100. And then we'll set this aside for now. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95. Okay, perfect. So can't do a whole lot left there. So we will take another 100. And then we have 245, which that is correct, yes. 100, 200, 220, 240, 245, perfect. Which is a decent amount of money to put towards a vehicle that you don't even own. So I'm okay with that. And no other category should have money in here now. Wait a minute, there we go. I like these double-sided envelopes, they're so convenient, but I find sometimes like getting them in the right slot with the dividers can be kind of tricky. So just watch that if you get these envelopes, but they, they do make my life so much better. And I think they're really cute. Home maintenance is next. This one, we are taking money to the bank because we have more money in seasonal that I'm comfortable leaving around. This is the only category I believe right now with money in here. So we have one, two, three, four, five hundred. We will take to the bank. I'm pretty sure, do I have a 500? I think I do from at home in the sun. Yes, I do. So then 100, 20, 40, 60. So we'll take a 50 and a 10 just because, and then 10, 25. So what's the best five? This one's kind of the best. Oh, this one's even better than that. So in here we have 500, 600, 650, 670, 680, 685, which is correct. And it's so much thinner than it used to be, and I'm very pleased with that. So for taxes, nothing in income tax, property tax is our biggest offender right now. We already have 500 in the bank, but in cash, ew, look at, guys, gross. Going to the bank, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 500, okay. So this, is gonna go directly to the back of the pile because there ain't no way. And then the 500 we'll put down and we'll take a thousand. And then we still have 50, 60, 65, 70, 75. Ooh, these are all pretty nice fives. We'll keep that one. And so we'll put the 10 and the two fives down for a 20. Which kills me to do because that 10 was so nice. So 1,000, 1,050, 1,070, 1,075 in property tax. I'm just watching the savings account grow and grow and grow just for stuff that's sitting in there to gain interest. And it's really like, it is making me so happy 
because I have all of that money for my car down payments sitting in there right now. So that should be hefty deposit interest plus just regular interest on the whole balance of the account because I do get both. So chef's kiss. I will be a happy camper when July rolls around and I see that deposit interest hit. Wander Lost is next. And in miscellaneous, I think this is fully consolidated. There is $35 in here. Yes, nothing in pre-trip expenses. We're not booked to really go anywhere outside of Nova Scotia, which I just use weekender money for that. And so in here, we have one, two, three, 350, but we also have 20, 40, 60, 81. So that's 450 total. 460, 470, so we'll take a 20. And then we will take a 10 and keep a five. This five is the best five. So this should be correct. We have one, two, three, 400, 450, 470, 480, 485 in weekenders, which is right. And hopefully I won't use too much of that money next weekend. I'm gonna try my best when we go, but my dad probably won't let me pay any gas money. So this will be for my next trip down, which is at the end of July. And I think I have one at the end of August. Spending has nothing, accommodations, flights, Dining and fun have nothing. Fun I'm not really getting too caught up in right now. I'll probably spend more of like just my impulse money or whatever. And when we go to Nova Scotia, like my brother lives there, we usually stay at his house. And we don't typically go too far. We just like chill at the lake because they live right on the lake and we do a lot of swimming and whatnot. And we'll be down there for my niece's graduation party, which they're having at the house. So I, I can't assume we're gonna do a whole heck of a lot, but it is gonna be Canada Day weekend, which is really, really fun. And so, yeah, we, I don't know, we might do something. We might go into Halifax and watch the fireworks, but that shouldn't really cost us anything. So I think we're in a good spot for next weekend and I'm really looking forward to it. So let's go into short term now and we'll do this one up. And then, we only have one more binder after this, so we're rolling right through it. Annual fees for my credit card, my Visa cashback. This is fully funded. There's 120 in the bank. Christmas can use a little something something. There's 100 in the bank, and then we have 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. So we will put this down. Four of 50. It's not a great 50, but it'll do anyways. So 155 in Christmas now. I don't know why I have that $100 in the bank. It's honestly kind of driving me nuts, but it's okay. And so in clothing, we have 50. I hate giving up these tens, man. Ugh. That's okay. It's not the end of the world. So there is 50 now in clothing, if that will ever go in there. Costco. This is for my membership. It's $70 a year. I literally just redid this. This bill is janky as heck. Um... So we're good. This is for 2024's membership right here. So we got some time and we're doing $15 in here because we had three five. So we'll replace that with a 10 and one five. Cushion has two $5 bills. And I don't, if you, if you're one of the people that writes on bills, why do you do it? Please, please, please don't. That's one of my biggest pet peeves. Like, like it's not the end of the world, but guys, really? Oh, this is not one of the nice ones. 
There we go. The excitement that I feel when I get a brand new Crips 10 is unlike anything. So then when I get something that somebody's written on, it's like, why? Okay, so yeah, $10 in cushion. Electronics has 35 maybe? 20, 35, yep. Yeah. So let's see what the nicest five is in this pile. They're like kind of bent, but that one's okay. My short-term sinking funds is where I'm getting to keep the tens, which is nice. And I cannot forget to go back and change that out of my savings challenge, like the big binder, because there was one 10 in there I want to replace. So $35 going back into electronics. Fireman's Lotto, there's 105 in the bank. That's our community 50-50 draw. Health, 100 in the bank, 150, 170. This one they stamped, which is almost worse. I think that's worse. 150, 170, and 180. Ooh, damn, that's a nice five. It's gonna stay in the front. So now there's 180 in health. Impulses has $15. It is fully consolidated. Not today, Satan has $5. Planner does have 10, so we could switch that out. Polaris. He has one, 200, 250, 270, 280. So he also can get one of those lovely, lovely tens. So Special Occasions has a little bit we can consolidate. I don't want super huge bills in here because I'm just going to go ahead and spend it. But we have 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. So yeah, we can take a 20. We can do that. So $40 in special. And I will spend this probably on the lobster supper that my mom is going to get for my dad. I'll contribute a little bit for Father's Day. He wasn't home from Alberta yet. He's coming on this coming Sunday, the 20, 25th, I think it is. Anyway, so yeah, I haven't given him his Father's Day present yet. Stock up has $75. It's fully consolidated. Bet Visits is in the bank, that's $200. And YouTube has 15, so that is also fully consolidated. We just have one more to go, guys, and then the fun is over. This is our savings binder. Future, we can pull out and switch for 50. 20, 40, 45, 50. nice to see the red one going in there because I feel like I'm making some progress. Now, this mess. We need to do something about this because all of these placeholders are getting to be a lot. So in total, in placeholders, in the bank, we have 1,000, 1,100, 1,200, 1,300, 1,400, 1,450, 1,500. So let's put all of this down. And 
and start again because it was just my brain was firing on so many cylinders there that I just could not. So 1500 and then I know there's $200 in $100 bills, but I'm going to leave those and then I'll just put a placeholder in here for the next 500. So we have 100, 200, 20, 30, 40. So we'll just switch this out and take another 20. So technically 1500, 1600, 1700, 1720, 1740. So that's not terrible. And this is much thinner than it was, thank goodness. Parents is gonna get to go to the bank. So we have one, two, three, four, 450, 470, 490. And then these two fives make 500. Five hundred and twenty-five. So let's grab a five hundred dollar slip from At Home in the Sun. So five, five twenty, five twenty-five. When I look at the tracker and see that I've added two thousand dollars to my savings account this month, that really honestly makes me so so happy it's such a huge rush of endorphins to see the account grow and like i said all the interest that i'm gonna get this coming month not that it's a lot but it you know it's definitely it'll help i think i tend to average about nine dollars or nine or eleven dollars i think a month so this month coming should be significantly higher because i just put that eleven thousand dollar deposit in there for my counter down payment pet emergencies has 100 150 200 so we'll swap these for 100 and then 20 40 50 60 65 70 75 so that's a nice five We'll keep that 20. So this should be, yeah, okay. Cause I just switched out the five there. Two hundred and fifty, two seventy, two seventy five in pet emergency. And then TFSA is last but not least. It doesn't really need much. I think I can't actually do anything with it. There's 1,000 in the bank and 35 in cash. So let's go really quickly back to our big savings challenge binder and switch out that last 10 and we'll count the money we have. I don't even really remember where it was. Oh, right here. Nope. Yeah, it was right there. And I'll grab a nicer 50 while I'm at it. Let's count and see if we did this correctly. So if we have $2,000 worth of money that we're taking back in placeholders, plus our bills, so 2,000 plus 605 should mean we have 2,605. So hopefully I did this correctly. Let's figure it out. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand, eleven hundred, twelve hundred, thirteen hundred, fourteen hundred, 
1500 So minus 1500 and then 51, 52, 250. We don't have half as many 20s as we normally do, so it might be correct. We still need 855. We have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 80. So 480, oops. So in tens, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 160. We might, it's gonna be rough. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 200, 5, 10, 15. So 215 minus 215 is perfect. We did it correctly. So all of this money will be going back to the bank. It is officially 6 p.m. in the evening, so I'm going to do that tomorrow. But it really makes me feel good to know that $2,000 is going to sit in that savings account. And this is the breakdown of the cash. Normally we'd have just a little bit more, but I am still very, 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 very pleased with this. So a little quick pause here for a screenshot, and then I will leave y'all be. Have a wonderful week, weekend, day, night, whenever you're watching this, just know that I wish y'all the best. Bye.